Hey everyone, Marco is here, the author of the Terrain Mixer tool. So, uh, I've received a lot of requests uh, from those who are like really new to Blender or, you know, Cycles or anything like that. Um, and I'm making this video just to help you guys, you know, when you, when you get the tool uh, to help you use it properly. So, before I continue, I just want to mention that if you have purchased any of the courses at the IFCC Academy uh, website, uh, you will get uh, this tool for free. So if you have, just send an email, you will get the code to, to get the tool. Uh, so one other thing, when you on the product page on Gumroad or Blender Market, it doesn't matter. Uh, please read all the instructions everything is written there you know like especially uh, the notes uh, that are titled with before you buy or before you purchase you know uh, about uh, because some very important info is there and I will mention one thing that's very important is uh, the machine that you're using your computer so it doesn't have to be a top-notch computer but it does have to be strong enough. So uh, do a little research, uh, see what graphic card do you need to use uh, cycles inside Blender and uh, make sure that you have everything you know needed for this kind of workflow. Uh, so when you download uh, this uh, package, uh, you will see that uh, there are, the zip file is named the uh, terrain mixer version, whatever version it is, but there should also be a folder named maps. And this is a separate download. Don't forget to download it. When you do, you must put the maps folder inside of terrain mixer folder like this. So the structure will then look something like this. And when you're all set, when you're all set, all you have to do is uh, open Blender and start working with the Terrain Mixer. Uh, also, when you when you open the when you open the the file, please have in mind that uh, sometimes it's maybe better to go uh, to the outliner and then choose the terrain uh, object and go to the modifiers and maybe this viewport level uh, in the subdivision modifier lower it down to maybe you know, like two just so you can work faster so let me now press this icon this is for the render viewport because you see there's nothing here at the moment so wait a second or two and there's your terrain now what I like to do I mean I can start working with it uh, right away. So we see, I can work right away and it renders really fast. I mean, I have a, a GeForce 180 Ti and this is definitely not the strongest card out there. I'll have one and it still renders like uh, really fast. But what I like to do, I like to go in this uh, upper right uh, window and then uh, uh, switch uh, or plug this fast shading out to this input which replaces the color with the snow uh, type of material so and this renders much faster so now you're ready to start working the, with the terrain mixer uh, it's all about the node groups uh, which you can see here but these are not all the node groups so uh, if I scroll this scroll out a bit you will see there are like a lot of node groups here, a lot. Almost all of the nodes here are actually node groups. Uh, let's, let's try something right away so you can see that uh, how easy it is to use it. So it's, uh, all you, if you're a beginner, just start with moving sliders uh, left and right. So for example, uh, I can go here and do this. You see the change. It happens right away. Or like this. Like 
should merge these two. Like so. So right away you see uh, how it is it is to modify the terrain. What I can also do is uh, maybe go here and let's see. Maybe I, I could show you how to move some of the inputs, for example. Okay, like this. For example, this. You see? It's so easy. I can also uh, scale or rotate. Let me scale it a bit. Scale it up a bit. Like so. I can rotate it. And that's it. That, that's really how you start with the terrain mixer. Now you can go inside any of these uh, node groups and do, if you're familiar with cycles nodes, feel free to do it. You know, just go inside. Uh, for example, if we go all the way to the, to the mixer like here, you can, you know, just go inside. You'll see a node setup here and do some changes, a different blending type, whatever. Don't be afraid. You know, save the original file and you know, make a copy and do whatever you want, experiment. Uh, that's that's really it. I will just uh, move this a few times just to see that uh, how the mixer node group works. So you see all these things. And I won't spend too much time on, on moving sliders. You can do it yourself, but uh, this, is, this is really, really it. All the node groups have their names and you will understand right away uh, what they do. So at the bottom here, okay, I can, I can also maybe do it here. At the bottom, all these nodes here are actually transforming the terrain. And these node groups on the top are, you know, for the material and, uh, and how, the, uh, how the terrain will look in the viewport. So, really really simple so uh, now the last thing that I want to talk about is uh, baking and uh, you will at some point you know if you want to use uh, your terrain in the EV or in other application you will want to bake a map so I really hope I won't mess things up here because even even I uh, get lost sometimes but let me let me just uh, uh, go back to the 3d viewport and I will press zero and let me just go to scene no uh, yeah to the scene and uh, choose the auto camera and now when I press zero I will see this. So this is the terrain from the top. To bake the height map, what you need to do first is go here to the dimensions and set it, for example, to, I don't know, something like this. It, it really depends on uh, what size of the map uh, you need. And this is it. And now, you do you go here you can you can even change the shading here so just let me just, just so you can see how the terrain looks with the snow and everything it doesn't matter but you know just to see all the difference in the heights so uh, you go back here it says here disconnect when baking so we'll disconnect when baking it says here plug above to bake height map we'll plug above. and there you go and all you have to do now is press f12 or you go here and choose render image and that's it that, that that's everything uh, there are also instructions in the package, which uh, you know ha have a suggestion on uh, what should be the number of samples. So 
check that as well you know because uh, when it's non color uh, data it can be even one you know so which means a lot faster breaking so that's it uh, if you have any questions I will be happy to answer them uh, sorry for my English uh, it's not my you know uh, language I'm not a native English speaker so uh, sorry for that and yeah enjoy train mixer cheers